Hi guys, Charlie here from Chicky Monster. So during this quarantine period, many of you may want to film some videos, you know, right from your home, for your social media. But if you only have a phone and you don't have a tripod or a phone holder, you know, we have two simple projects here for you using everyday items found in your house. Okay, so for project one, we'll be just using these simple items to make a makeshift tripod stand so that, you know, when you're sitting at your computer table, you can use this to film yourself if you don't have like a stable surface to put your phone. So what we're using is just a simple toner bottle, you know, and some rubber bands will be using just one and your mobile phone. Make sure that you have your phone cover on, screen protector so that everything is uh, protected. What we'll do is just put your rubber band over one side of the phone, depending on if you're using your front camera or back camera. So in this instance, if we are using the front camera, just put your phone facing down and then you put your toner bottle over you just loop the rubber band over your toner bottle I mean over any bottle and then over your phone like that you have a very fast tripod stand straight away and if you want to do that for the front camera you can just either use it like this straight away like from the back view, it, make sure that your bottle is not blocking the camera or you can just flip your phone around the other way. Okay, so for Project 2, I know this looks a bit silly but it's a kind of like a, our homemade dual handle grip and you can also try out some cool movements and angles. And what it's made up of is just a hanger, two pens and then some rubber bands and your phone. Ultimately, this will be the part where you're holding kind of the phone will be here and then these two will hold the phone in place because you don't want the phone to fall through and you want it to have a more stable backing. What you need to do is get one of these rubber bands and you do a double loop, right? A simple double loop. Okay, let's get rid of one pen. So, you put, put it through the pen first. Okay. Do one more. Do a double loop. And then you put it through the pen also. Okay, and then you can place it uh, somewhere in the middle. Okay, if your pen is not long enough, you know, like your hanger maybe is a, a lot bigger, you can maybe ask your mom to borrow their chopstick or something, you can use it, something that is long, so that you can reach the top and bottom part of your hanger. For my hanger, there is a part here, so we'll be putting the pen onto this instead of the top. Okay, maybe I'll get rid of one first. You just, uh, okay, reach it from the back, pull it, then loop it over your pad, top of the pen so that it's kind of like holding onto the hanger. If you want to adjust, you can still adjust it like vertically and horizontally as you want. The double loop is so that, you know, because this rubber band is pretty loose, you want it to be like a bit tighter. That's why we do a double loop. Okay, and then do the same for the bottom part. Just put it at the bottom. Okay, and then reach it to the back. Pull it over Pull it over the hanger and then onto your pen like this. Okay. So now it's like uh, it's a it's a good backing for the phone later on, and then do another one. Just make sure that you know the pens are spaced out evenly. So when you put your phone, the body of the phone will be uh, lying on the pen, and then also make sure not to block your camera. It's close enough so that you support the phone. If you're, if you're doing this, you might have one of the pen blocking your camera, okay? So you might need it to be nearer to support the body of the phone. Okay, and then you just do the same thing. I guess there's a lot of ways to do this, so just make sure that the pen is secure and then that's all you need to do. The last step is just to secure your phone onto these two pens. Put a rubber band over your phone, okay? And then when you flip to the back, make sure that it's not covering your camera and just adjust it down a bit. And then pull it over the pen and over the phone. Okay, like that. And then I think one is not really secure, so let's go for two rubber bands. 
even though the rubber band is here, sh you should still be able to navigate your touch screen and everything. And then you'll be able to do like a smooth movement with your phone. Thank you for watching and remember to like, comment and subscribe to Chicken Monster for more videos to improve your content.